What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Panthers Advice. Today, man, I'm a little excited because, you know, I watched the game yesterday. I wasn't really impressed. I mean, there's a couple of players on defense who did their thing, but for the most part, I wasn't impressed until I went back and rewatched it with the all 22 footage and I saw, okay, this defense, the young guys we have on the team, young-ish, we might be set. All right, so we're going to get into that. But first, let's talk about why haven't the Panthers signed a defensive back yet. I have a couple opinions slash theories I want to throw around real quick. One, what is this team going to do? Nobody knows yet, right? So they don't want to give somebody 7 to $12 million for a team that may flunk. That's just, I hate to say, but that's just the honest truth, right? I I don't want to say it, but you know, it's true, right? Why give somebody seven to twelve million for a team that's going to flunk? And the second opinion I have on why we haven't signed a defensive back kind of builds off the first opinion I had. Okay, so two A would be if we start winning, they'll sign one of these guys if they're there. Two B, so the second opinion, but the B route would be they're waiting on these guys, and by these guys I mean the defensive backs, to see how bad do they want to play again. Are they willing to take a big pay cut to try and get a bigger pay raise next year with another team? So that's my guess when it comes to this. We'll sign somebody if we start winning, or we'll take somebody if they're willing to drop their original dollar amount. So with that being said, man, let's jump into the video because I promise we've got some young, promising talent on this team. Let's jump into this. So the first thing we're going to do, man, is show the big boys some love. You got TJ Smith right here getting the sack on the play action. I love this. Doesn't get faked out. Take a look right here. We're going to pause it about right here. Does TJ Smith bite on the run? As you're going to see, man, he does not. Takes down the quarterback. Nice little touch. Whew. That was close. The second play we're going to look at right here, TJ Smith once again. I love this, right? Not just a one-trick pony. Bang. Swats the pass down. This is what I'm talking about. I believe TJ Smith is only 26, 27 years old, and we already have... I think the most depth at the D-line, but to have even more depth, I'll take that. Now, again, with that being said, yes, we're playing second, third stringers. I get it. But you see a sack, doesn't get faked out by the play action, and then a swatted pass. Doesn't matter playing first stringers. That swatted pass is money nine times out of ten. I love this right here. Take a look. TJ doing the thing, man. Let's keep it going because we have some other guys to look at. Let's check out the next one. The next player to talk about is Trevin Wallace. We'll have another video over him, whether it's this week or next week. Just an independent film study on what this man brings to the table because, man, so far he's been a beast. And after he picked up Rodgers in practice, people can't stop talking about this guy. Watch how fast he breaks on the ball. QB looks to the right, immediate throw, right? Looks like a screen right here, offensive lineman, all pulling, bang, bang, bang. So all these guys are pulling. Now Trevin's got to be careful, right? All these guys pulling right there. Watch Trevin right here. Patient, bang, cuts in, takes down the guy. I love that right there. And I told you, that's the kind of guy he is. Sideline to sideline linebacker, man. He truly is something special. And honestly, man, he can only get better from here on out. I love it. Let's keep it going. Right here, you got DJ Johnson. This one might be a little bit hard to see, and we'll go over it more when we do a breakdown later this week. But DJ Johnson does a great job disengaging from the tight end right there as you're going to see man and takes down the running back so like i said man there's a lot of guys making some plays all right and we're not done yet let's keep it going the next player we're gonna look at right here is luigi valane stopping the screen from the jump does a great job reading the screen let's run this back real quick i love it his name is luigi i love that in itself but take a look he's all over the running back i mean the qb can throw it if he wants but luigi whoo He's on that thing, man. Let's keep it going. The next player we're going to look at right here is Tay Davis. Now, this dude, he's a beast. All right, that's all I'm going to say. Look at him. Break on this ball. Bang, shoots to the hole. Takes down. Come on, man. I love that right there. I love that right there. That aggressiveness. You know, you got Trevin sideline to sideline. This dude, Tay Davis. Woo, woo, woo. Come on, man. Bang. Right? Look where he is. He's over here. He's going to crash through that gap right there. Bang. And look at him. Just lowers. I love this. Boom. All right. Not a one-trick pony. Take a look what happens right here. They're going to blitz the other linebacker right there. Try and hit the tight end on this play. Take a look what happens, right? Try to hit the tight end. And look who's stopping that thing. Come on, man. Run that back real quick. Run that back real quick. Tay Davis. Bang. All right. And actually, 
I want to go back to a previous play because I just remembered TJ Smith definitely did his thing, but there was a couple other guys involved. Let's run this one back real quick. So you guys remember this play from earlier where Smith swats down the ball. Well, let's talk about why did the quarterback force that throw? The first thing to look at is Nick Thurman immediately gets past his guy. He's going to be in the quarterback's face. Then you got Robinson up here coming on the backside right there. Bang. I mean, this is what I love to see. You got Smith swatting it down. You got Thurman shooting the gap. And you got Jamie Robinson, our rookie last year, starting to show some signs. Come on, man. Let's go. Next up, man, is another play by a rookie. Does a great job reading the route, and he's all over that. Receiver had no chance. Quarterback was not going to put that in there, right? Take a look at this real quick. We're going to pause this thing right about here. All right? You're going to see that receiver try to stutter. Try and get Shaw Smith's way to bite inside right here. And then, bang, the receiver is going to bounce it out. But look at Shaw right here. Look at him. Bang. He's right there with them. There was no chance this receiver was bringing that thing in, man. Great stuff by Shaw Smith's way. Let's keep it going. The next play we're going to look at right here is from a 26-year-old. We've talked about Lamar. We've talked about Deshaun. But right here is Boodle. Look at the play. He's Come on, man. Come on, man. Boodle's doing his thing. Robinson's doing his thing. TJ Smith doing his thing. I see potential, right? These weren't just nonchalant plays. These were impressive plays from everybody. And you saw that one earlier in the game where you got Robinson going in. You got Smith going in. You got Thurman going in. Iku does a great job containing the flat. Trevin Wallace did his thing. Robinson, I mean... The team looks bright for the future. Can we win now? I hope. But as far as the future, I feel like we're building the right pieces in the right places. Let me know what you guys think. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Stay tuned. More content coming soon, especially on Dylan Johnson, the running back. I'm excited for that one, man. I'll catch you guys on the next one.